everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so as you're jumping on, say hello, jump on. Hi, Rich. How you doing, Rich Queens? As you guys are jumping on, say hello. Tell me, where are you coming in from? I just always love to see that. It's so crazy. I'll see people in Germany. By the way, always look at where people are coming from. I see people in Germany. My Germans, I love you. I'm German. My background's mm -hmm. German. My Canadians in the house. Where are my Canadians in the house? Put Canada up. My Canadians are in the house. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Right? And where are my, where are my Californians? My New Yorkers, my Boston people, where are you? Washington State, so good. Minnesota, so good. Where are my people from Africa? I love it when I see people from Africa. I'm like, wow. Hi, Jenny. Good morning. Okay, you guys, we got a really good show today. Uh, Newcastle, woo, so good. Um, I don't know why Newcastle made me think of Ireland. I'm going to, I, I don't know why. Probably just the, the name just sounds so so put together. And so we're actually going to Ireland as a family in June uh, with all of my husband's family and his cousins and my mm -hmm. son's cousins. And we're going to go and we're going to spend three weeks in Ireland and Portugal and Spain. And we're not going to work. I mean, I might slip in a, a live here or there, but we're not going to work. So, so here's the thing. So uh, can you guys help me and just hit share real quick? What we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about what are three things or what are some things that you can put into a book that would make it profitable? And I, I'll share a quick story with you. I've never considered myself a writer. In fact, I just called this woman that I'm going to bring up in a second, not too long ago. And I was like, I'm having a hard time getting my next book out. It flows and then it stops. It flows and it stops. And she gave me some great advice. And the problem with a good network is sometimes that network doesn't get, get passed on unless you're in the rooms. I talk a lot about that. Are you sitting at the right tables? Are you in the right rooms? And if you're not, then hopefully Shand On Demand can bring you into some of those rooms. And, and if you do have connectors, friends that are connectors, like I feel like I'm a big connector for a lot of people in a lot of different areas. When you have connectors in your life, make sure you keep them close. And here's why I want to share this with you. It's so easy to underestimate a connector's superpower. Yeah. It's so easy to underestimate a connector superpower. I can tell you there are many people who have connected to health through this platform and, and cleared cancer without chemo. There's a lot of people who have connected to their wealth advisors. There's a lot of people who figured out how to create cash flow and create their million dollar years or their million dollar months or their million dollar days. Yeah. There's a lot of people who have connected here and become um, married. I can't tell you how many people in our platform, in our leadership arena, who have healed trauma and relationships and ended up getting married or remarried to their, to their divorced people like crazy, right? And so don't underestimate the power of connectors because I can tell you that people burn bridges all the time. And that's the one thing you don't want to do is to burn bridges with people who are connecting you with the things in your life that matter the most, the things in your life that God has put on your heart. So can you take a moment, you can you share this live and connect this live to mm -hmm. some other people so that they can be blessed by why it's important to look at why you need a book. And, and I, you know, um, I'll give you my short story because I never saw myself as an author. I'm dyslexic. I um, can spell a word, word seven different ways. I'm just uh, like, that's just not my world. Who else is like that? You're like, it's not my world. You've got an area of your life. Like I wasn't born understanding money. I wasn't born an entrepreneur. I wasn't born an author, right? Like anybody like that? Yes or no? Yes. Tanya's like me, me, right? And Nadea, right? So it's like, so I get that. But what I also said that I wasn't a speaker, Mm -hmm. And it's the number one thing that I do. So sometimes the thing that you say you're not is the thing that really you need to press into that the devil is trying to keep it away from your destiny. And so I wrote my book. I wrote it right when I was having my son. Um, I spoke it to an editor and the editor wrote it. I never reread my book. I got it edited, proofread and all of that. And I just sent it out. It made me mm -hmm. half a million dollars in about four months. Mm -hmm. Maybe half a million dollars in about four months. I set up a page. I gave it away for free or shipping and handling. I would ship it to your house. And the way that I blew it off where it just exploded is I said, the first hundred people who buy, I'll sign and write a note in your book. And I really did do that. I had my team bring over books yeah. in my living room in California. And what I did was I... Um, I signed notes, I, I wrote messages to individual people and that blew up. 
Now, what I did when I gave the book away for free, right? So some of you guys who don't think you're an author, maybe you like the money part, half a million in, in, in four months. Um, when I set up the registration page to give away my book, I gave an optional field for people to put their phone numbers in. This will be a big aha moment for you. It was for me anyway. I realized the only people who purchased from me over the next four months were only the people who gave their phone numbers. I have um, a thought on that. I think it's because they're not as skeptical. I think it's because they're maybe not as, they haven't been as hurt as much. Like they haven't been, they haven't been um, damaged. Like somebody hasn't abused them in the essence of abuse their cell phone number or you get what I'm saying. So I have just always used that data now where I look, how many people are my buyers that actually give me their phone number? So that's just a little marketing like hook for you. So take a moment. Hi, Samuel. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Tanya. Can you, Lorna, can you guys do me a quick favor and share this and let's get a bunch of people on. And I am going to bring up my guest today. And my guest is uh, is Sarah Cannell. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hello. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for having me, Shanda. So good. So first of all, in the book world, you went from, from being an entrepreneur that was making $20,000 a year to an entrepreneur that's making multiple six figures a month in a very, uh, a very short amount of time. So I want to get into the books, but why do you think the book world has exploded and your, your company's making that type of income? Yeah, a lot of it, um, the pandemic, certainly uh, books have always been important to people, right? But the book world exploded in both audiobooks and print books, like 400% because wow. people were stuck at home and they were soul searching. They were looking for answers. And one of the places we still go as a society for answers is to books. And when we see someone wrote a book on a topic, whether this is true or not, we assume they are an expert. We assume that they are somebody who has mastery in this area. So it's a huge um, level of credibility and rapport that happens with authors. So good. Um, I'm curious, like I was, you know, uh, how many of you guys listen to audiobooks? Put it, put, put an A in the comment section. How many of you guys listen to mm -hmm. audiobooks? I am obsessed with audiobooks. Like yep. uh, I listen to audi uh, audible.com right now. I'm, I'm listening to the audiobook supernatural finances. It's called supernatural finances and by Kevin Z Z Z Zade. I don't even know his name. Anyway, it's really good. And I find that there's always a nugget while I'm doing my hair, brushing my teeth. In mm -hmm. fact, I don't like to use my blow dryer. As you can tell, like my hair is like, <laughs> it's a little frizzy. This is because I choose education over beauty. Like truly, it's because I choose education over beauty and I'm listening to the audiobooks. So we see a couple of people who listens to audiobooks over regular books. Put an A in the comment section. Sarah, question for you. Are, are audiobooks more um successful than written books i don't know the answer to this well they are right now so people are sometimes making more on their audiobook my most recent book um or two books ago i have made more in royalty so far on the audio people are binging audiobooks like you i listen to them on 1.5 or 2 speed and i'll yeah. do three a week i mean i'll just i'll just tear through i'm gonna get that one you just mentioned today <laughs> So good. So, okay. So, so people are just tearing through the audiobooks right now. What is there, an, is, is there an advantage to like, if you were to advise somebody that was going to write a book and by the way, you all should write a book. I did my, I did my first book in, I think it was eight weeks. I did two to three chapters a week. All I did was I took a, a, a non-fancy notebook and just like I was about to say, I was about to do a live online around a topic. I wrote down all my topics in my book and then I, I prepared for somebody to an editor to be on with me and I spoke my book and I, I set up meetings like accountability is everything right set up meetings so I had to be prepared and I'd say most of the time I was prepared a few times I wasn't and I had to say let's cancel this meeting because I'm not ready but at least it kept me in the momentum of working. So if somebody was, if you were going to give somebody advice right now, that's about to do a book, yep. um, would you recommend they do a written book first or an audio book first or both? I would do both because you really do see sales on both ends and the written book, like you said, Shanda, sometimes people want to feel close. You want to hear the author on the audio, but they want to hold the book in their hand. There still is a 
I'm like billions that. of dollars being made. I like to hold it. If I love a book, I'll get both versions. I'll get the audio and the physical book. And you also in the physical book, something we're doing a lot with our authors is putting in QR codes. Tony Robbins did this in his newest book. So you have people, you're teaching them something in the book about your expertise, your process. And then let's say you're guiding them through an exercise, a template, put a QR code in the book. It goes right to a web page where they put their name, email, and phone number. And there's no cost. They get your resource. They get to um, have, avail themselves of your template or your guided meditation or whatever it is. That person is now a lead. That person's mm -hmm. not a reader. They're a lead. And that's where you're going to see exponential sales. That's where you can make millions of dollars on a book. Is so good. And, and I want to add, so everybody, I used to get intimidated by the word funnel. When you get a lead, like somebody, and we're going to talk about leads tomorrow and lead magnets, but when you get a lead, and and somebody gives you their name phone number email always ask for phone number not like you can make it optional but always ask for phone numbers i tell you those are the best buyers i think it's because you get the most connection with them don't abuse their cell phone right like because you're in their living room you're in their bedroom you're, sometimes you're in their bathroom with them right and so like don't abuse it but but it is a great way when you have an important message that you want to get out to your list to be able to send them an audio message or a text message. Now, when they originally give you their name, phone, or email, email their, their contact, think about a next offer. Mm -hmm. and, and, and people are afraid to make a next offer right away. I used to be that girl. And I'm telling you, make an immediate next offer. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a course that we sell uh, where we teach people how to do list building for $49. Immediately after that, there's a next thoughtful offer. It's actually to join the group that Sarah's in, our Mentor Me Live program. Yes. And it allows people to sit in that group for a couple weeks, listen to the trainings, get access to all the home study programs, everything, and binge, like Netflix, yes. binge on business building skills in 10 minute trainings. And so we upsell from $49 to $77 because it's a natural next step and allows them to test drive our programs. Instead of spending $1,000, they spend 77. So I just wanna encourage people to think like that. Like when somebody buys, they're right there online right then. So it'd be really powerful to put a next offer in front of them. And instead of thinking about how do I get, Think about how can I give? Like, what would be the thing? And if you feel weird, say, I don't want to feel pushy, but I think you might want this thing yeah. next. And then give them another shopping cart to check out. Okay, Sarah, when someone's struggling with, is this book good enough? Yes. What would you say to them? So first of all, we all do. Even people, I've written eight books at this point. I'm writing two more this year. I love them because they change lives. A book saved my life 18 years ago. Shanda knows this. And that's why I do what I do, because you all sitting here watching have a life-saving mission. You have a message that someone needs. And so what I like to think about, like you just said about sales, Shanda, we're not selling to get, we're changing someone's life. Every one of you have a book in you that can save someone or change someone's life. So I, th I like to think of it's not about us, it's about the message and when we connect with, we have a message to share. We're not going to think about the third grade teacher that said we weren't good at writing. Or I had a client whose father corrected the birthday cards she would write him and say, you're not a good writer. You know, you misspelled this. Like she was like four. And so she yeah. thought she couldn't write a book. We have trauma from these things. So I encourage everyone, we get to let that go. You know, inside you right now, if Shannon and I took a poll, if you have a book in you, you know. Well, let's do it. Let's take a quick yeah. poll. How many of you guys feel like you have a book in you right now? Put I do. I do. The word I do says you have a book in you right now that you know you need to write. Yeah. Go that go put that in the chat right now. If you have a book in you right now, put I do in the chat. I do. I mean, I personally do. Look at this. I do. I do. Right. Esteban does. Rose does. Farah. By the way, don't watch this live and not engage because that is passive listening. It's really powerful to be like in it. So, okay. So these people do. So what's the first thing you work on to get a book out of you? So we got, yeah. we, we're clear. We got some books That's in us. Books. How do we get it out? First, I mean, I would say get in the room with other people doing this work because it's so easy to talk ourselves out. There's that law of diminishing returns. So be in Mentor Me Live, watch the Shanda on demands. Like the, the fact that people can be in that group and binge those for 70 something dollars is so crazy, yeah. amazing. So being in the room with other people who are committed and they're like, I'm not just going to have an idea and talk about it. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to change lives. I'm going to be the leader 
I came here to be because you writing a book is being a leader. So you first want to think about your passion and expertise. I've got three circles and I'll say them really fast. Your passion and expertise is up here. I draw it like a Venn diagram for my clients. I feel like I want to do it yeah. for you. I'm like, you're going to draw it. Yeah. Hold on. Ah, I got, I've got all this stuff tucked in. Hold on. I'm like, look at, I got wires hanging off yes. me. Yes. Let's just keep it real on Shandon. I love it. Maybe our people like it real. I love it. Okay, so, just to get the visual. Okay, what yeah, do I do? So upper right circle. You're going to you draw a circle and it says, you know, your passion and expertise. Okay, so that's for each of you. There's something you've lived, a health crisis you've overcome, a modality you teach, a cool process you have. The next upper left circle that'll that'll uh, come inside that one a little bit, like the the Venn diagram. Oh, okay. Like yep. this, it's gonna yep. cross over. Exactly. Yep. So I love this, Shannon. <laughs> Doing it live. So this le upper left circle now is going to be um, a way that you help your reader do two things: overcome a challenge or achieve a dream. Okay. So here's the deal. That's also true for a great email, a blog post, a social media post. You help someone just solve one piece of a problem. They're going to want more from you. You help them take one next step toward a dream of health, wellness, relationships, money, whatever it is. They want more. Even if you're writing fiction, it's the same thing. And then the bottom okay, circle. Before you go to the bottom circle, I want to share something really quick. Oh, yeah. we, uh, is what she just said is really powerful. She said one thing, right? This, I remember when I started my business, I felt like I had to be a fire hose to everyone because it was all about me being worthy. Who does this resonate with right now? Put me in the chat. Okay, so I would, I would scrutinize on, is this good enough? And so I just thought if I just give more, that, that people will be happier. But, but the problem with giving more is people don't take action. Right. Secondly, they get confused. Thirdly, it's actually more about you than them. Fourthly, this is where money's made. Money's made in simplicity. Yes. When it's simple, there's success. Okay, keep going. Our third, our third. Point. I love this. So the third circle on the bottom, I draw it in the bottom that kind of okay. connects all three. We're going to have an overlap in the center where all three of these circles connect. Okay. Yep, exactly. And the bottom circle is why it's urgent now. Shanda, you teach on this. In I call it runway. I call this it runway. runway. Right? So this is the yep. urgency. Look, it's always going to be important to help people be more present with their kids, like be a better parent, let's say, if you're a parenting person. But why right now? Because 100% of kids are suffering from mental health stuff because of the pandemic, supposedly, is what you know the research says. There is an urgency to each of your messages and missions. There just is. And when we link all three, that little place that Shanda drew where all the circles intersect is the bestseller zone. 100% of our authors make bestseller at least on Amazon day one because we make sure that all three of these circles are addressed in every book. And when you do this, people will want to share your book. You help them achieve a dream, overcome a problem. Even just again, one piece of the problem is gonna give them relief. And then they're gonna build on that to more success, Shanda. They're gonna to wanna to read the next book and the next book and the next book. Not only that, they're gonna to wanna to hire you because mm -hmm. we talked about what makes a book high converting, what makes it profitable. You were able to build a relationship with people and say, I'll send you a signed copy and made you know half a million, quarter of a million dollars. See, when, I didn't even realize that. See, right. this is why you got to be at the right table. Yeah, you got to be in the room. I always say joke like in Hamilton, the room where it happens. You know, you want to be in the room, which I've been in the room with Shanda, what, for three years now, Shanda, and the business has exponentially, exponentially grown. And I want that for our writers and authors. So you don't just write a book, it becomes a bestseller, you change lives, and you attract clients that'll be with you for life because you are now their trusted expert. So good. So I'm going to move this out of the way now. And I just want to share with you guys. Um, well, actually, I want to ask Sarah is when someone becomes a bestseller, there's that there's that immediate gratification when they work with you. So if you guys that we don't have any links for Sarah, but if you want to talk to Sarah about your book, put Sarah in the in the comment section, just put Sarah's name in the comment section if you want to talk to Sarah about your book, because I think there's nothing more frustrating than going, I know, at least for me, if I see somebody in an interview, I'm like, oh my God, I really want to talk to Ed Millett. I really want to talk to Sarah Canal. I really want to talk to, you know, Joel Olstein, but it's, they feel so far away. If you do want to talk to Sarah, just put Sarah's name in the comment section. We didn't really think it through to be able to have anything for you to get to her, but 
it's all nice and organic. So Sarah, there's the, there's the immediate gratification when they work with you that sure. they become a bestseller because there's a formula to wealth. There's a formula to bestseller. There's a formula and you can either do it yourself or you can get the support that you need to be able to do it right, which is why I think it's Tony. I know. I think it's Dean Graziosi that it is Dean. He says, when you hire a mentor, you're, you're paying for speed. And the reason why is because you're closing the gap on yeah. do it yourself alone to yeah. do it with a coach or a mentor or an advisor to be able to launch it. It's also why companies build boards for their company to get the advice to grow faster. Okay. So when we become a best-selling author mm -hmm. um, and uh, there's two questions I want to ask you. So I'm going to ask you this one first. So um, there's this immediate gratification with you because it happens. Right. And and now what? Because I find a lot of, I'm the wealth girl. It drives yeah. me nuts when people build the book and mm -hmm. they want to become a bestseller. Like, I'm a bestseller. It's like, yeah, but do you have any money in the bank? Right? Yes. And so, let's yes. Talk about that. So, what you want to do is put the pieces together. So, I'm a big fan of the book is one piece of a greater pathway. The book will open doors for you to go get paid to speak if that's a vision for you. A lot of our clients love that. You get in front of bigger audiences. I oh, okay, want let's take that. Yeah. Let's take that for mm -hmm. one second. Do, do you know how to take your book and get in front of bigger audiences? Like, what's one tip you can give someone? Yeah. So what you want to do is you'll screenshot all those yummy bestseller in all these categories, and then you're going to approach your dream list of places you want to go speak, podcasts, stages, conferences. And you say, you know, my best-selling book is out there changing lives. Hopefully you get a few awards. And then you come in as the expert. You're not someone just randomly getting on someone's stage. Authors get picked 80% more and get paid 80% more to speak than those who don't have a book. That's just what the numbers are right now. So it's really exciting if that's your vision. You put the book in, it's a door opener. But I don't want anyone to stop there because like you, Shanda, it's like about wealth, right? Like we want to yeah. make sure people have real wealth. So always, always have a product or a service that you want to bring people to through the book. That could be a coaching program. If you're a lawyer, it's your law practice. If you're a massage therapist, you're going to see that all through the book. You're going to let people know and tell them stories about the people you help, not in a salesy way, a really authentic, loving way. And then they're going to want to work with you. My clients say, I want someone to quit halfway through the book, not finish and hire me. <laughs> That's like what we go for. That's so good. So this is what that looks like. So I met Sarah Cannell and I remember when Sarah Cannell was already doing good work with people, her business was starting to take off and she was doing well, but she knew she could be better. Who, who out there right now, you know, you could be better. Put me in the comment section, right? Mm -hmm. She knew she could be better, but she needed somebody to believe in her. And I remember, I think it was Ash who came to you and was encouraged. Was it Ash was encouraging you to step up in our programs and keep ascending up, right? Yep. People are worried about the word funnel right? They're worried about, oh, funnel feels dirty. No, no. Funnel is ascending up your best people, yes. the people who are most committed. And I don't know about you, but Sarah and I can both tell you that along the way, we second guessed ourselves. Who second guesses yourself? Put SG, put SG. I want to see my people who are honest and vulnerable. Put S. G, if you second guess yourself or have along the way. Mm -hmm. So Sarah and I both second guessed ourselves along the way, but we were coachable. Mm -hmm. Right. Who are you guys are coachable. We were coachable along the way. My husband saw uh, Sarah and just kept encouraging her to keep moving along yeah. the funnel. Right. Her, you have a book funnel. Right. Yeah. You have a free lead magnet funnel, whatever you want to keep. You want to keep being thoughtful about what is the next step that this person needs? What is the next step that this person needs? And let me tell you, a large amount of people don't listen. They don't listen because they choose their fear over faith. Sarah was one of the people who cho chose faith over fear. We've walked a few different roads. We walked the road of her ascending up in our coaching programs. Sarah, what type of income can you make every uh, on, a, on a regular, consistent monthly basis? Yeah, so I'm easily, six figures a month is now the new normal. I'm going to six figures a week. That's like the new, I mean, it's what was impossible before I started working with you is now really effortless. And it's not about working harder. I take more vacation. I spend more time with my child. I spend more time with my husband because it's, it's, it's like you said, your mentor gives you models for not only speed, but also efficiency and having a life. Shanda, you taught us like take time off. Don't burn yourself out. And it's tempting when we're running a business to just think I have to work all the time and sacrifice. And it's not true. If you have the right mentor and the right modeling, you just learn to create the systems and it's so powerful. Powerful that you can have. So I'm having a multi-million dollar year 
five years ago, I couldn't make $20,000. Like I was a broke ass writer. <laughs> like, honestly. yeah. Yeah. And now you can take that and you can, you can apply it and show, and you do. I mean, many of our clients have hired Sarah and they have, they have created incredibly profitable funnels. But the problem is, is that if you won't allow yourself to get in the room because you allow second guessing to take you out of faith or take you out of fiercely going for what you want, then we got a challenge going on that needs to be alleviated, which means you need to become coachable, right? And coachable means where you're going, there's a little bit of, I don't know in it and don't make that wrong. That is not, that is normal, right? And you want to get out of normal as soon as possible. Let me repeat that. You want to get out of normal as soon as possible. It is normal to feel nervous, fearful, confused. That is all normal. I have a client that, uh, that Sarah knows as well, Sonia, she was actually on a couple days ago and you know, she, she popped a $12 million business, a million dollars a month. She came to me now she was doing well. Mm -hmm. Um, I've just so you know, 60%, if not 70% of my audience, I haven't surveyed the exact number, um, are brand new, new, new beginners. They're just starting a business. Maybe they raised their children and they're like, you know what? Now's my time right? I'm going to do it now. It's not like they're newbies. They're taking something that they're already passionate about and an expert in, and we're monetizing it, right? We're putting it into a system or a model. By the way, that's a great book, Mentors uh, Mentors Models. Yeah. It'd be a great book to take a bunch of mentors in all these yeah. different industries, like SaaS companies, network mm. marketing, coaching, finances, and take all these different models. We should partner on something. Like I was going to say that's the next. That's that book. Yeah, is we should partner on something like that and literally take all these models so that people could literally connect up with all those models. And the product on the back end could actually be a product where we don't have to train it. We've got people who are specialized in those models, training those as the QR code in each of those chapters. And we could take 30% or 40% or 50% of the product sales off of that QR code. My friends, money is easy to make, but you got to be willing to get in the right, in the right room. Sarah Connell, um, there's a bunch of people who want to get to know you that, that message the word Sarah on the chat, but you guys need to know that Sarah has spent two or three VIP days with me, with our team, which is where we spend a day together, four hours together, and we dive into it. And her costs are a lot more than what we're offering on holiday specials right now. I am completely booked out right now until next year, but we have people like Steven that can help you do a VIP day and show you how to create a really strong message, right? How to create a really strong course. We have Tiffany that can help you create a lead magnet online that that literally you could push hundreds of thousands of people, Mm -hmm. at least thousands of people through maybe before the end of the year. My point is, is that my husband just worked with someone and Sarah, he worked with her for not even an hour of the VIP day and she ran off and created $40,000. And by the way, the next week she created $70,000, right? (laughs) Awesome of just a portion of a VIP day. So I'm going to ask you guys, we're running down to the last, I think it's 10, 11 weeks of the year. Mm -hmm. If you want a VIP day, I am booked out, but my husband's available. Steven is available. Tiffany's available. We've got Jean, who sounds like they have been training with me for Mm -hmm. 10 years, is available. Our VIP days are $15,000 on a special for a full day. That compacts about six months worth of time and energy into now, right? So it's 15,000 for the, for a full day or it's 7,500 for a half day. Right. And, and there's no, like you need to meet with them or meet with us afterwards. We're there to help hold you accountable. We'll custom it to you. My point in sharing that with you, if you need a VIP day, you already know who you are. Put VIP in the comment section, put VIP in the comment section so we can see you and we'll reach out to you. Sarah, now can do multiple six figures. She's been doing multiple six figures every month. You are the girl who you would push, who who out there you push, right? You push and you accelerate and then you got to rehabilitate. <laughs> you, need, you need a break, right? You need to rehabilitate after, after you accelerate. Well, that was Sarah. Yeah. 
share a little bit about that. So in 2021, you know, I'd been working with you just a little bit, Shanda, and I, it, the term that I use in some of my books is exertion exhaustion. So I would be like, okay, I'm all in, I'm going to do an event and I'm going to do Shanda's model from that VIP day. And I would, I would work myself up into so much pressure and stress and kind of take it all on myself. I didn't delegate all the stuff we would, don't want to do. Yeah. And then I would need to rest. And I think I can't do anything for three months. So my income was like erratic because of course it is. And she Shanda, you gave me, this was the aha moment for me. You said, do you want to be on a diet or change your lifestyle? And we get that with food. We understand if we go on a three-week diet for some nonsense, it's worthless, right? Because you're going to just go right back to what you're doing. Your body won't change. You won't feel differently. But I realized, no, I want a lifestyle of prosperity. I want a lifestyle of serving more people in, with my gifts that I'm here to serve. So we changed our model, began doing the event stack. So that's one of the mentor models that Shanda teaches. And it has changed not only my life, but the women in, in the community that are training with Shanda. I think all of us would say the event stacks have been um, a multi-million dollar you know, game changer for all of us. And so now I don't get stressed. I don't get, I'm excited. I have, you have time I'm, to get stressed. I am speaking like several events this fall, flying places. I'm also hosting my own events. I wake up joyful. I wake up excited because you don't have time. You're in action. Stress lives in the future and past. Do we yeah. know that? It's always like, oh, what's going to happen if no one buys or if I do this and no, or I don't have time in the moment when you're in action, there's no stress because you're here. You're just, you're yeah. here. Yeah, the challenge that, uh, that so first of all, if you do do a VIP day with us, it's important for you to share your emotional. So everybody who did put VIP because you'd like us to talk to you about a VIP day, and if it's not a good fit, we'll tell you that. But if you know you want to move faster, put VIP, we'll talk to you about a VIP day. But, um, but you got to be honest about, because the strategy is important, but your emotion and, and where you're breaking down emotional, don't be a superhero. See, Sarah came to me and said, I'm doing this. I'm sp like, I'd see her spikes and I'd be like, girl, you're rocking it, right? So she'd take the strategy, which creates the success, but she couldn't keep the endurance that right. creates the wealth. And so what I realized over the years is that when people are overwhelmed, they actually don't have enough to do. I know that's weird, but it's because there's too much time in between your campaigns and so when they're failing which they always do when they're not working you're just emotionally consumed in that versus i don't have time like when you have when you have five kids you don't have time yeah you don't have time to worry about the kid that just put dirt in his mouth right you're like he'll be okay you know what i mean like he'll be okay the last one put dirt in his mouth and he was okay right like you you learn how to just get rid of information that is useless. And then we show you how, if you look at your business, like these are just office hours. If I went to a corporation office hour, I would work these hours. So whether you're in any sort of, let's call it a launch or you're, you're in a growth spurt, you should be on a growth spurt for the rest of your life. Not like a diet. You're not going to just be on a growth spurt for a minute and then, and then get off the diet and consume all the bad stuff for you. You want to be on a growth spurt for many, many years, which means you have to handle this idea of exhaustion. You have to handle this idea of overwhelmed. You have to handle, you, you need to overcome this. And the way you do it is actually getting more purposeful mm -hmm. and filling your calendar with office hour work that produces income and impact. When you do that, the game changes. Now, it took Sarah a year of working with us, I think, mm -hmm. of just learning how to make money, yeah. like really make money. And then, and then she came to us vulnerably with, okay, I just want to tell you, surrender. <laughs> like, okay, yes, I'm making a lot of money. And it's taking me three months to rehabilitate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we're like, oh, you're more capable. You're more capable. So you might not think you're more capable because the signs say danger, 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 but really you're more capable. Let me look at your calendar and let's us stack your calendar differently, which doesn't mean she's working till 10 o'clock at night. Nope. It doesn't mean that she's missing her kids swim practice. It doesn't mean anything. It, me it doesn't mean she can't, you know, interview the, the summer camp her kids go to. Mm -hmm. Like She is completely involved as a mother. Very. And I hope she's even becoming a better wife to her husband. Yeah. I will tell you, she's becoming one dynamic leader of an empire that is changing the world that I promise you, if you decide to write books with her, that you'll be in a really good spot. And it's very, very rare. I ever put a promise on anything. So please, whether you do VIP days with us 
or you work with other people, it's really important for you to access speed right now because mm -hmm. as the markets are collapsing, the recession and all that fun stuff that's happening, you should be on your toes excited about this yeah. because if you know how to create cash, which we can show you how to do, if you know how to create cash and then you know how to match it with endurance, like we've taught Sarah, mm -hmm. then what that means is you can be free to do the craft that you want to, that you want to do, but you want to take that money. And instead of thinking, how much money can I make? You know, when I worked for a corporation, I thought, how can I help this corporation get to the next level? That's how I got, that's mm -hmm. how I got partnership and deals. Yeah. I never focused on how much my salary was because if I focus on how much my salary is, that's not the right intention. It's how can I create the result for them? My salary will take care of myself, right? Yeah. Your money as an entrepreneur needs to not just go to you. It needs to multiply. And awesome. we are in a multiplication market. We are in a multiplication market and you want to make sure that you're not hanging out and second guessing. Like I'm going to slow down and I'm going to work my way until I can afford to do something that's not how it works, my friends. And it will never work for you. And if you're honest, it never has. Mm -hmm. So Sarah, any final last words as we wrap up Shand on Demand today? Just to say, because we've gotten into this great mentorship discussion, there's a statistic that says people who work with a mentor, so you just say, I'm going to not do this on my own, create 500% more income and impact than people that work. Now, that's not a small number, 500 True. Percent. So when we think about mentor me live and all the, I mean, this is, this is the key. It's the key. So good. All right, you guys love you, Sarah Cannell, everybody else. I will see you tomorrow on Shanda on demand, where I will be bringing on this whole concept of what lead magnets could you be using right now? Cause guess what? Guess what? If you're going to impact the world, you're going to need people. You're going to need people. And so I want to show you some ideas on how you can construct something that is valuable, that you could do very quickly, very simply. You could do it next week if you wanted to and put something together that somebody could download, give, the, give you their contact information that actually is set up well to help you help them more, which will then, then in case monetize. All right, you guys talk to you soon. So much love to you. See you tomorrow. Bye.